right, I'll try a video. I don't know if you're allowed bikes out here. I've just seen two foreign blokes on motorised bicycle type things. A bit more powerful than a bicycle, but not a motorbike. Um, they're sort of battery operated. I'm not quite sure if they're allowed those sort of things up here. I'm not really sure. Because of er erosion of the hill. Anyway, folks, there's Weston. I'm just having a nice, gentle walk round. Um, like I said, the cows are sheltering in the bushes. I've walked amongst them before now. You know, like I said, I have videoed this and photographed this hill for many times over the past 30 years. Um, I only really got into video properly about eight, eight years ago, eight, ten years ago. And, and in the beginning I had very, very inferior cheap cameras very very but they did still record and they always look good at the time but of course technology has improved uh, it doesn't bring out the best in those images i done because of the pixels and all the technical stuff at the time they didn't look too bad and I've still got them I've still got all that stuff whether I can upgrade those images I'm not sure I'm going to try it one day see if I can if I redo them so I've got the original discs. I might do that. But I've been out here when my children were small. With my dog. When I lived in Barrow. You know, I've been coming here for years. I tend to come here. Not every year now. But I tend to come out here. At least every two or three years. For a, a, a walk. I ought to come out in the winter. But it isn't pleasant in the winter. And I won't. It's no point coming out in the rain. Because, um. The cameras die on you. They don't really like the heat. But I've videoed me coming along here for the ages. So people say, oh, we've seen all There's that. some great pictures coming in in a minute. Now what's happening now, it's probably lunchtime. People who are either sat down having their picnic, because the English are a nation of time. Or they're all eating in a pub somewhere. Or they all plan to come out after the lunch. So this will get busier. So at the moment, I've got it. I'll say that in the great herd to come along, won't I? But look at that view there. That's deep home. Which you can now go out to again. It's much more, I think it's 40 pounds to go out there and back now. He's much dearer than it ever was. It's doubled in price nearly. Right, there's some. Um... Ah, that's what it is. There's two people walking quite slow in front of me. And there's some people coming. So I'll just. That's okay, I can just sit on this little bench and have a drink of water for a minute. More people coming. Behind it are the hills, are beautiful hills, Mendip hills that I climb a lot, talk about a lot, and go up a lot. That's what they look like from my little town. Beautiful, isn't it? That's Western Supermare. And then going up this track, I'm just doing little snippets just to show you. A minute ago I could see the top of the hill I'll be going up on the way back. There's been a few people past me, little families, little groups. Some of them looking alright, a lot feeling, looking very tired. Some don't look like they brought a drink or anything. They, people expect there to be stuff out here. I mean, why they don't have a little cafe out here, I'll never know. The money could go towards the fora. Flat home. Sleep home will come into view in a minute. Flat home's got a pub on it. Yeah, I can't remember it's called the Pelican. Like I said, I've been all around it. I went in the spring when the seagulls were nesting. But there's loads of history there. It's great. It was a great visit. And uh, I'm glad I went when I did because it's not easy to get out there. 
because of COVID, a lot of things stopped. So, uh, I'd like it if the big boats went out again and stopped there. I think because the big boat, Westwood Ho, used to beach on Flat Home. I've got a really good picture of it beached. And it still looks good, even though it's um, a bit of a uh, inferior camera. It still looks a good picture, actually. It looks a classic. I've been round to Deepham on another boat that's rusting away near Western Railway Station. Um, the Bristol Queen, I think it was called. Yeah, it's gradually rusting away now and bits taken off it. I've been on that with my kids. We were, when we lived in Reading, we used to, before we moved down here, we used to come and stay with my sister Val and we would go out for day trips and we'd get the boat from over there by Burnbeck Pier there's like a runway or whatever you call it and you'd board the, the ship and it would take you out round the bay and I can remember I can remember the first time we went out round Steep Home we passed Steep Home on it that was a day out with four kids yeah yeah, we always had our lovely holidays when they were small. Somebody coming, so I'll probably turn off. And right down there is the fort. There's the fort. Which I'll be going down to in a minute. And over there we've got steep home, which I'll take... I'll take some pictures of that in a minute. Yeah. I don't know if I explored that bit there, actually. I think about it. Explored most of it. run out of battery any minute. Must be getting close. I can do the down bit first. Do this bit first. Yeah, what's it there? This is the engine room or something, isn't it? Engine house. Built in 1941 to house the 22 kW diesel generator. We supplied the electricity for the new searchlights and naval guns. Another one supplied electricity to the accommodation. The gunners often cause power cuts at the fort by swapping the 40, 60 watt light bulbs in the accommodation huts for brighter 100, 150 watt bulbs. Orders were eventually given for the hut lighting to be connected to the searchlight generator. There it is, there's the engine house. All the buildings. That's the toilets, I think. I've done it all before. There's always loads of people up there, not everyone comes down here. I've got a feeling I climbed up there once, it's a bit harder now. I think it's harder. If you can get up that bit, you're alright. And I've been down, I got down here before. From there, I was a lot more adventurous years ago. I really was. I took some risk, really. I mean, once you get down here, you can climb up on that side, see? There are a few uh, gaps you've got to cover. 
Let's just walk to the edge a minute. There's yeah, a little quiet beach down there that some people use sometimes. See, there's a big gap that you've got to get across. But you can get down on the beach, and I'm going to climb over and go up there. See, that's steep home. And I can get over here, you see, without uh, tripping, because I am what I call a trippy person at times. I fall over my own feet. It's not too slippery. Yeah, there's a big gap there, see? But just behind there is a lookout post, which we'll see in a minute. Just uh, go around that way. Can imagine the sea when it comes in. Yeah, see, there's a lookout post. I don't know whether I'll bother coming down to that one. And I can, I'm going to climb up there in a minute. Let me just take some pictures over and out. <laughs> 